Becky, my channel is What Beck Sews. Welcome back if you're a subscriber and welcome if you're new. This week's vlog is a week in my handmade wardrobe of me sewing and styling. So it is very early on a Monday morning. We are in my bedroom. I've just got dressed and it's pitch black outside, hence the lighting, guys. So I will drop a picture in of me and what I'm wearing. But I am wearing the Tilly and the Buttons Lyra dress. Um, this is a slightly shorter version of the three-tiered vet. Um, dress I have taken off some of the inches on there due to fabric restrictions um, I have done my usual hack on it to get the shoulders to sit where I want them to of doing a four across the shoulder grading out into a six I think under the arm and then um, I've, I've kept it at six because it's quite an oversized dress this is made in the fabric godmother viscose crepe um, and it's their recent um, animal print drop that they have done so that that will still be in stock I will link it down below if it's something you're interested in um, I'm going to take you on a journey this week with what I'm up to and share as much as I possibly can um, about what I'm wearing every day I've chosen this week to do it because I am actually in the office for th three days of the week um, which means that you'll get a bit more variety from my wardrobe. So I need to get going, but I thought I'd pop on and share with you what I'm starting with and I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Good morning. And it is really early in the morning. It's about 5 a.m. I just thought I'd pop on because just to show you the realness of life. Um, I go and pick my mum up most mornings and take her to work. So I've chucked some comfies on, but I had these on last night and I forgot to film this for you. So... I thought I'd film it now. Now this top is, I'm not actually sure what the pattern is because I didn't make this. I purchased this from the lovely Crafty Kide on Vinted, but it is a handmade top um, in this gorgeous fabric. I don't have a bra on guys, sorry. Um, and then I have a pair of Stella joggers on, which are in this gorgeous red sweatshirting fabric. So really coordinated 5 a.m. in the morning to go and pick up my mum. But I just thought I'd pop on, you know, and show you the realness of this, my world of handmade wardrobe. And I'll um, catch you a couple of hours um, when I'm looking a little bit more presentable to go into the office. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I am off for another day in the office. Today I am wearing my Davenport dress. This is one of my favourite dresses from this gorgeous um, fabric that I got from Textiles Express. I think they still actually have this in. It's like a Japanese um, viscose and it's a bit like a cotton poplin. So it's got a bit more structure, a bit more warmth about it. I've got three quarter sleeves and I've got an extra tier that's a bit longer on the bottom. But I will um, pop in some footage of me in it so you can see what it looks like. I've paired these with a pair of Jazz and Wow earrings. These are ones I made specifically for Scottish Frocktails, so they're not available on the website. They are pink and I'm hoping that pink goes nicely with the red because I've wrapped my hair up in a bun just to put it up because it really needs a good wash. So kind of getting away with uh, another day of not washing it. And that's me done. I'm going to head into the office today. I will be working from home this afternoon. If I get changed back into comfies, I will share it with you. But I did pop on this morning to share, show you what I was wearing last night and first thing this morning. Right, I'll catch you all in a bit. Good morning. It is Wednesday and we are in my sewing room. Well, today it's an office, but still sewing room. Um, so I just thought I'd pop on and let you know what I'm wearing today. I'm working from home today, which is a change from what I was supposed to be doing because I was actually supposed to be in the office. Um, but due to the fact that I've got to go in tomorrow now and I'm at the college all day Wednesday and then we've got so Bram on Saturday, I thought I'd have a day that's just a little bit easier on me to work from home. So I am wearing a Tammy Handmade, sorry about the hand, Tammy Handmade Naity. Very, very comfortable, made in this cotton jersey with leopard print all over it. I've got this for me, swaps table. And then I have, which you saw briefly yesterday morning, my red, so, do you like that? That's, <laughs> um, I have my red Tilly and the Buttons. Let's see if I can bring you down so you can see that a little bit better. My red Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers. And they are just for comfort. Do you know what it has made me realise? Because these are like a bit of a, double sweatshirting it's made me think god i 
love my Tilly and the Buttons Stella joggers and I want to make some more joggers because I actually only have these ones in rotation at the moment. So yes, that's next on the steps. So I am doing a day at home, but what I'm probably going to do in my lunch break is try and find some time to do a tiny bit of sewing. So I do get an hour for lunch if I choose to take it. Nine times out of ten, I don't. But I haven't actually sewn in this room yet and I really want to. So if I do get the opportunity to do that, and I think it will depend on how busy my day is, I will certainly take you along with me. So I'll catch you in a bit. this lunchtime literally I I'm only going to take half an hour lunch break but I knew this would be a fairly quick make so I had cut out in this gorgeous um French Terry uh, French Terry sweatshirting fabric it's a Narita Hansen fabric there's a bit of controversy going around about um, Narita Hansen at the moment anyway I bought this from um Beyond Pink Door and um it's this gorgeous fabric here so it's just a basic sweatshirt that I'm making. It's the Sarah Wide Sleeve sweatshirt. It's a pattern I actually bought last year from Ellie and Mac and I haven't had a chance to use it. I think I bought it in one of their sales and it was end of the season. But it's got these gorgeous sort of bishop sleeved um, arms. You can have it as wide sleeve, uh, sleeve arms. You've got mock neck, turtle neck. A number of things now i did actually intend to do the mock neck version which you can see i've sewn it up here but i had a moment of trying to get it over my head and it wasn't working so very quickly changed that from a turtleneck um sorry from the yeah the rollover neck to a crew neck which fits much better and goes over my head it's so it's just there's it's a certain degree of stretch in this and the neck band's gone in lovely which i'm really pleased about um i have pulled the front and back together got the sleeves in so all i've got to do is sew up the side seams hem it and um attach the cuffs but i will need to gather them in because they're bishop so i would say for about 20 minutes worth of work I've not done too bad. I'm going to go and grab myself something quickly to eat because I do have a meeting in um, 15 minutes, which is why I'm not taking my full hour, which was what I was expecting to do. But it has been really nice to be able to do that in the middle of the day. Um, I feel like I've been a little bit more productive, um, whereas I've not been able to do this in the space that I've had before because I would have had to have lifted all my computers off to then put my machines on and plug them in and get it done. So now i can take a lunch i could have an hour sewing if i wanted to i mean i won't always do that but it's it's quite nice to know that that's an option so i will um probably see you tomorrow now if i come back on and do a bit of sewing later then i will share it with you but i have all of those buttons in this tray here to process tonight along with all of the stuff that's over there that's already sorted out onto the counter so i think it's going to be a jazz and wow night um, but if I do get some sewing done, if I find that I finish on time, maybe I might find a few minutes to get this sweater finished up for. Yeah, that'll be in time for Friday sews. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some food. I'll catch you tomorrow. Hi, guys. It's about half eight at night. It's obviously a bit colder in here now. So I have just a jumper, not me made, on. Um... And I am enjoying an evening in my sewing room, actually doing some sewing. I decided not to do any of the resin stuff. I have now finished the top um, and I will have shared that because you'll see this after my Friday sews. I will have shared the full final finish piece in that. So I'm not going to share it again. Um, I have just made another top, exactly the same pattern. And I'm in love with it. It's with the new fabric godmother fabric I've got. And then I've also cut out, because these are such quick and simple sews, this gorgeous fabric here, which is a viscose jersey that I got. I can't remember where I bought this. I know this fabric was in Lamarzi fabrics, but I didn't buy it from Lamarzi fabrics. 
I really can't remember where I purchased it. Anyway, it's beautiful. Um, and I have cut a frayer out from tilling the buttons in that. And again, it's a relatively quick sew. So, I mean, I've just made another Sarah wide sleeve dress. It's quarter to eight and I came in here at 10 to eight. So from start to finish, and I did another version of that, as well as finishing off the other top, it's taken me less than an hour. And I have also sat and pottered. So I'd probably say about 45 minutes, 40 minutes in total. So I think I should be able to whip the fire fairly quickly as well. Maybe get that finished tonight too. And then tomorrow night, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to cut up my fears, I think. Um, but I'll have to do resin tomorrow night because I can't get away with having two nights off of that. Um, all the calendars go out next well, they don't go out next week, but they should all be ready to go out by the end of next week. Um, and I'm actually really looking forward to just getting them done and posted because I know that then it's done and I can tick it off. And it's just my normal sort of stock and Christmas stock and some of the fairs that I'm going to stock that I've got to get done. It's a bit less pressure on me. So, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that. Anyway, waffling about something that's not a week in my sewing and handmade wardrobe. So I'm really enjoying it. I just thought I'd pop on and say hi and let you know what I'm up to. And that I'm taking full advantage of having a sewing room. Scott's in the lounge watching sport. He has said it's rather strange me not being in there um, to play um in the kitchen he says usually you're around and you're just playing about with stuff and, and you're not you're not around at the moment I find that very strange I don't like you not just being there to talk to so I think that's going to take some getting used, used to and I think there's going to have to be some compromise because I am always crafting in the evenings but normally I've been within the vicinity of him so I'd have to find out a way of making that work so we still feel like we're spending time together um but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get on with this, see if I can get it done. I'm actually amazed by the light in here. The light is brilliant in here. I don't know if you can tell. I actually think the light at night is better than the light in the day. I think I'm a bit clearer than I was earlier. So the light is fantastic and it's been great for sewing as well. So stop waffling. Um, might do a bit of filming of me sewing and uh, I'll catch you on in the morning when I'm heading off into the office and I'm interviewing tomorrow. So I should look relatively smart and the hair will be washed. Anyway, catch you in the morning. <laughs> office today and I am wearing what I made up last night so I am wearing the Tilly and the Buttons Freya top out of this gorgeous fabric that I cannot for the life of me remember where I got it from I think it was so Penrith you know but I'm not going to tag them just in case it wasn't um but yeah that's what I'm wearing today I'm in the office I've got an interview first thing this morning and then I'll be home this afternoon um but I've just paired this with a pair of ready-to-wear trousers although I have got a jazz and wow button on these because the one that was on there before was falling apart so I just added a new button which is always quite nice because it feels like there's an element of handmade I will pop a picture in here so you can see what it fully looks like but yeah that's what I'm wearing this morning I'll catch up with you a little bit later hi it's Friday and I am off to the college today with um, work excuse the mess in the background that'll be a weekend job um I just thought I'd pop on and share with you what I'm wearing today so I have another ready to wear pair of trousers on they're a pair of black jeans but I have a um, grain line studio tee on which I absolutely love the only difference is I haven't done the capped sleeve um, and it's in this gorgeous sort of blue Merida Hansen lawn fabric and it's just lovely and lovely to work with this was made out of a scrap remnant that um, the lovely Ruth 
um, who seamstress here on YouTube and over on Instagram brought with her to a sewing social. So I will pop a picture in here so you can fully see what I'm wearing. Um, but like I said, I'm off to the college today to see a load of the students that I look after and see how well they're progressing and then um, back home to work this afternoon. So I'll catch up with you a little bit later. Good morning, it is Saturday and it is gonna be a good day. I'm off to Sew Brum and I'm wearing my Tilly and the Buttons Marnie blouse with my red SD trousers. I've gone all red today, all out, and I'm gonna go downstairs and stick in a pair of Jazz and Wow heart earrings as well that are red and pink to go with the look. But I thought I'd quickly pop on, tell you what I'm wearing and maybe show you some snippets from today as well. guys i'm back from so far. i didn't really get a lot of footage but i did put in a little bit for you um i have got changed i've just changed into my latest jumper my latest make um that i shared on friday sews which is this um sarah wide sleeve sweater in this gorgeous fabric i got from fabric godmother and um, i've got changed because the back of my hair got all wrapped around um i always wear my hair up when i wear the marnie that i was wearing this morning because the button my hair always gets wrapped around it and it really got badly wrapped around it when i got home and i couldn't get it done i've ended up cutting my hair to get my hair out which was really annoying um so i just i've chucked this on because i was in my sewing room with the scissors trying to get it off and this was still on the table it's the only reason i've got this on um it might, it might be i'm definitely doing red overkill today a lot of people have commented on how much red i've been wearing but i thought i'm not going to do a separate vlog on um so brand because i've been filming all week and doing a week in my handmade wardrobe i thought i would just share what i bought as part of that if you don't mind um as it is sewing and styling my handmade wardrobe some of this will be part of the sewing so i ended up giving in and buying myself a trolley bag today which i'll pop in a picture of me here with my trolley bag so happy obviously bought pink um now adele's had one of these for ages and i've put off getting one but i know realistically for me it's probably the right thing to actually do because yeah I have to buy lots of fabric. I think I've been reasonably restrained today. So let's start with what I got. So actually, I wasn't looking at this initially. It's very sort of polyester-y. I need to wash it. Um, but I thought it would make either a great lining to a coat or a great skirt. Um, it's just this kind of satiny feel. Um, leopard print it's definitely poly in this lilac color and i love the color now the color's obviously not that bright so i think to wear this up close and personal it won't suit but it would definitely make a really nice lining in the right garment there's two and um, 2.2 meters of this and i paid two pound for that um from the rag market somebody else was eyeing it up when i picked it up um, this was probably the most expensive thing I bought today. This was five pound a meter and it's so pretty. So it's velvet and it's sparkly sequins. So it's got this black velvet underneath, which is a stretch velvet. So there's plenty of stretch in it. It's just a uh, two way stretch, not a four way stretch. And it's just covered in sequins. Now I've never sewn with sequins. I've got no idea how much of a pain this is gonna be. I don't know how scratchy this is going to feel against my skin, whether I'd need to line certain parts of it. But I really want to make a jumpsuit because I think this would make either a fabulous jumpsuit for like my work um, Christmas party, which I'm going to, which I'm already thinking of. Um, we also do quite a few things around Christmas period because we have a number of birthdays in December. So we end up having lots of meals out and things like that. So that was another option. Um, or for like the Christmas party meal that we have with our friends. Um, I'm also going to, Sally will have a Christmas thing for our Staffordshire Social. So I could even go all sparkly for that. The 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 uh, choices is endless for this, but I had to get it because it was just gorgeous and so Christmassy. And every year I get to my Christmas wardrobe and feel like there's never enough sparkle for Christmas. So yes we're going to do that it's not red lipstick on my chin i'm just getting really spotty i'm sorry it's really bad today 
Then there is this, again, Christmas in mind, a gorgeous um, crushed velvet uh, four-way stretch. This one is, and it's just that really nice Becky red. Um, now, there's a couple of things I could make with this. Both of them are, both of the things that I'm thinking of are so over it patterns. So you've got, I want to say the Porsche dress, which is one, um, which is like a wrap over. And then the Estelle dress is another. Um, but again, this was three pound a metre. No, two pound a metre. Two pound a metre. It's a bargain. You can't go wrong with that. I've got three metres of that one. Um, and then I purchased... This was the first thing I got, and I've very much got Davenport in mind for this. So this is like a black paisley fabric viscose. It's quite a nice white viscose, which is what I like about it. Um, it has got like the white background, but it is just, it's really, really nice. I mean, obviously it's not stretchy, so it having white background doesn't make any difference. But I am thinking Friday Pattern Company Davenport. Now I do already have a black Friday Pattern Company Davenport with paisley on it but I get so much wear out of it. It's just really nice. And I got four meters of this one so I can make the extra long maxi version of um, the Davenport like I have in one of my dresses. If I can remember to put it in, I will put in here a picture of one of my old Davenport dresses that's had an extension to it um, that I think this would look lovely as. And then the final piece of fabric that I purchased today, was completely on um, Adele's recommendation. She saw this, I bought three meters of this, and it's this gorgeous cobalt blue um, sort of detail. This is very similar to one of the fabrics I got from Walthamstow Market actually, um, just but with one color on it and not multiple colors. Um, and I just, it's a very sort of geometric design to it, but it's this blue, it's definitely a me kind of blue. I got three meters because I had no idea what I wanted to buy with it, but I just knew that I had to have it in my life. And that's it for fabric. I was very, very reserved, um, which is surprising for me. Now, Birmingham Rag Market does have a few bits and bobs on there and uh, they do have like your little makeup -y stools. So I bought myself a couple of makeup bits. I know this is a sewing channel, you're probably not interested in this, but I bought this Revolution palette, which is an eyeshadow palette. I mean, how fabulous are these colors? They're just amazing. I have these um, palettes uh, for when I go out because when I actually go out, 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 out as uh, Mickey Flanagan would say, um, these uh, bright color palettes, I do do like the whole eye makeup thing um, and I take quite a lot of joy in it. And this one was just so Christmassy that I couldn't resist getting it. And that was like, seven quid I think for those two so that was really good so other than that I bought a tiny bit of haberdashery so they did the moon threads on one of the haberdashery stores and I bought all the essential colors so these type of threads I bought a white a green a black and a red so I basically went with the colors oh I bought I bought pink as well basically all the colours that I use all the time. And then I bought an extra pair of snips because I'm always losing my snips. And then I also bought some hook bars. So these, I'm thinking if I cannot get my buttonhole in my theatres that I want to make up next for my Fabric Godmother ones, these would work really well. So that was everything. Do you want to know how much I spent in total today? Because I am happy to tell you because I didn't spend a huge amount of money. And when I did a recce, I spent a grand total of £52.85. And that included my dinner as well. So that included the lunch that I had out as well. I did really well. I don't know how I quite did as well as I did, but yeah, it's actually quite refreshing. We did go to Guthrie Garni today. But I must admit, I, I didn't get much from Guthrie. I didn't get anything from Guthrie Garni. There was a lot of people in there. And I, I don't get overwhelmed by people. But I just couldn't look. I couldn't get anything. And then there was waiting for the cutting. And it was just, yeah. I just, 
it nothing really took my fancy enough to go I want to be involved in that so um, I didn't get anything at Guthrigani I didn't end up getting anything in Barry's now that's unlike me I just I found one fabric which I just felt that I didn't need need in my life because I've got so much fabric in my life um and then oh, I had a look around and there was like nothing there that really went, yes, Becky, you need that. And I think that's because I've had quite a few satisfying purchases recently um, through Fabric Godmother and some of the fabrics that I've bought that are wintry. And I very much had in my head that I really wanted some more winter based fabric. So if I'd seen some sweatshirting I would have really wanted, I probably would have picked something up. But they just didn't really have any in there that I fell in love with. So yeah i have been fairly restrained i would say i'm so proud of myself day six of wearing me maids and sharing them with you um and we've got one more day to go and tomorrow will be a comfy day so there won't be much to share with you there but yeah i hope you're enjoying this vlog so far anyway i'm gonna stop waffling at you and uh i will be back tomorrow morning good morning it's actually Monday. I suddenly realised that I'd completely forgotten to film what I was wearing yesterday. Now, I was only in chilled out clothes. Literally, I think the handmade item that I had on was a Ellie and Mac oversized adult tee. Um, so I thought I'd pop on and close this week out of my handmade wardrobe with what I'm wearing today. So it's Monday. I'm off to work. I am all in me made today. I have on another Marnie blouse made in this gorgeous um, viscose fabric that was once called Mountain Accents, I think from Fabric Godmother, but it's no longer in stock and you can't get it anywhere. And then I also have a pair of Pomona pants on by Anna Allen um, in a gorgeous sort of blue tensile cotton um, twill I think it is so it's yeah I'm very blue and green today but I love the way that this looks and pairs together and it's a perfect pairing for going into the office so hopefully I would have popped a picture or some footage in here for you to see I hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog I hope that you have enjoyed seeing what I've been wearing every day what I've been getting up to sewing wise and what I've been doing sewing event wise and have a fantastic week guys and I'll catch you all soon bye